Alright, let's do a quick walk through before we uh, do our last round of uh, root feeding. And we got the cheese. These buds are swelling up. I looked at the trichomes with a jeweler's loop in and uh, they're starting to stretch out. They're developing pretty good. This is the cheese skywalker. And we got the Pandora's box, Agent Orange, and another cheese. So this week we're just gonna give these some fermented plant, uh, fermented fruit juice. I just made some from some strawberries, so we're gonna give them that. We got two weeks to go on these, maybe a week and a half. Here's these four that are just going to go the full season. I'm going to give these a root feeding today and a foliar feeding. We're done foliar uh, for the flowers. So uh, let me get my bucket of water in here and we'll start mixing up the root solution. Okay, let's get started mixing up our solution. We've got some cow mag. Normally I, I've been using that burnt bone which has calcium and phosphorus in it, but we don't really need the phosphorus. We got that back guano that we put in two weeks ago. And uh, we're gonna be good right there. So let me find the uh, teaspoon. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go one teaspoon per gallon on the cow mag. And one teaspoon per gallon of kelp. And I just made this, just strained it this morning. This is fermented plant juice from the strawberries. And you can see it's still fermenting in there. I haven't stabilized it with molasses. I'm gonna do that after this. So we're gonna go one tablespoon per gallon, or thereabout. There's about three and a half. And this stuff, you can actually taste it. It's really yummy. Okay, so I'm hoping besides making them swell up, I hope that that adds some flavor. And I'm just gonna dump it right here. And that's all we're gonna do to these this week. I've been plucking these pale leaves off as I go this week. Get them out of the way. You know, like some of these dying leaves that are just ready to fall off. I don't need those on there. They block the light and they're not doing nothing. They're dying. So the energy that goes to keep these alive for the next couple days could go to the buds because um, these are dying so I'm just going to help them along a little bit and get them out of the way not every day I pull off so okay we'll come back and mix up the root feed here in a second for the uh, veg 
Okay. So the root feed. This week is gonna be uh, fish emulsion, one tablespoon per gallon. And one t uh, teaspoon per gallon of uh, kelp. all these in veg this week and I'm gonna root feed every other week and foliar feed once a week on these all right we'll get the foliar mix going for the veg uh, humic acid three quarters of a tablespoon per gallon Fermented plant juice from Watercrest. And we're gonna go three quarters of a tablespoon. Oops, that's a mess of bowl. And kelp, about uh, half to three quarters of a teaspoon. I'm sorry. Was I saying tablespoon? I'm doing teaspoons here. This is a teaspoon. So, uh, that was about half a teaspoon, and the others are about three quarters of a teaspoon. And there's no room, but in a couple weeks, I'll make a video how I apply the foliar feed. I did show one video earlier when there was room in the greenhouse, but there's absolutely no room in there for this now. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to add humic acid to the flowering mix. And it's no big deal, so when I do my middle of the week watering, I'm just gonna add humic acid to that. So, yeah, if that ever happens and you forget something in your mix, uh, don't worry about it, just add it at your next water and you don't want to add too much water and dilute your mix too much by, you know, trying to add it today. I, I think I dilute it too much. So, alright everyone, thanks for watching.